Tonight at 530, is new Sean Williams enough of a risk to Western New Yorkers to keep him from walking free after he serves his prison term? Now, he was locked up after being convicted of infecting women with HIV, but you might be surprised by what his attorney is saying now. News 4's Luke Moretti joins me with that. Yeah, Jackie, a civil confinement trial is set for the middle of next month. Now, a jury will be seated and have to decide if new Sean Williams remains confined in state prison. But now... There's some new evidence emerging. It's a surprising revelation by attorney John Nuccherino in state Supreme Court. He doesn't have HIV. He can't pass HIV. Uh, he isn't a predator. He's been mislabeled as a predator for all these years. And it's about time that we start slowly setting the record straight. Nuccherino says in order for new Sean Williams to prepare for the blood draw and testing, he was taken off all medications. He says the blood examination was done by the University of Massachusetts Medical School. He gave up many years of his life because of this. He has been vilified for a decade and a half uh, across this country. In the late 1990s, Williams pleaded guilty to statutory rape and reckless endangerment in Chautauqua County. He was supposed to be released from prison three years ago, but he continues to be held under a state civil confinement law that applies to highly dangerous sex offenders. Chautauqua County Sheriff Joseph Jirasi says he's surprised by the claim that Williams is not HIV positive and says he'll wait to see what happens. Doesn't uh, remove the fact that he had uh, at least one partner that was uh, 13 years old at the time. News 4 legal analyst Terry Connors says the HIV claim now raises the question of whether state confinement is appropriate. It's no longer does he meet the statutory criteria for release, can they hold him in on that basis. Now it's there's no basis whatsoever for even keeping him in jail. Former so Chautauqua County HIV District Attorney James Subject prosecuted Williams. So some of the women that were infected could have only been infected by new Sean Williams. And as a consequence, I believe that what we did was right based upon accurate medical information. Now, Attorney John Nuccherino says at some point he'll seek to vacate Williams' conviction that hinged on him being HIV positive. Yeah. In the meantime, jury selection in the civil confinement trial is set to begin next month in Chautauqua County. This is a troubling case for yeah. a lot of people. Now, that civil confinement trial, which will determine if he walks free, right? right can we be there? Can no. cameras be there? No. No. No public, uh, no media. Attorney Nuccherino says this falls under mental hygiene laws, a situation that he kind of described as very personal and very revealing. And because of that, a judge ordered restrictions on who can be inside the So courtroom. we just have to wait. We'll have to wait outside and see if anyone us. talks to us.